The Bengal cat is a hybrid between the Asian leopard cat and a domestic cat. The Asian leopard cat is a wild cat which resembles the leopard in terms of markings and build. This leads many to think the Bengal cat is in itself a wild cat, but the truth is far from it. Keep watching if you want to know all about these beautiful felines. The name Bengal cat derives from the taxonomic name of their wild relative, the Asian leopard cat. This means the Latin name which we use to categorize animals and their breeds. The breeding of this feline has been carried out since 1963 in the USA thanks to some human intervention. The Bengal cat has a strong and robust build and is larger than most domestic cat breeds. Males are larger at between 4.5 and 6.8 kilos, with females being a little smaller at between 6.5 and 5.5 kilos. Their coat is short but thick and very soft to the touch. The only coat pattern allowed by breeders for the Bengal cat is the brindle pattern. However, the color may vary with a range of tones including ivory, cream, yellow, gold and orange colors. The Bengal cat is a well-known cat for their hyperactivity. They are an insatiable cat which likes to play and surround themselves with those who will pay attention to them. They are a loving breed which develops close bonds with those with which they share a living space. They are likely to follow family members around the home and are particularly good with children. Bengal cats will also get along well with different animals such as other cats, dogs and even ferrets. Likewise, it is important to remember that every cat is an individual. Their personality and behavior will be influenced by their genetic inheritance, but their experiences developing especially in terms of socialization, are much more important. That's why adopting a Bengal cat requ requires you to find out everything you can about raising them. This way, they will have the best opportunity to have a happy and healthy life with you. The care of a Bengal cat should receive is quite simple and not a whole lot different to other cat breeds. We need to pay special attention to their coat, especially during the molting period. At this time, we need to brush away dirt and dead hairs. If we don't do it, it can lead to hairballs or other intestinal obstructions. Using malt paste for cats or adding a teaspoon of olive oil to their food can help prevent this from happening. Remember that cats should not be bathed unless in case of an emergency. Cats will clean themselves happily and readily. To ensure your cat keeps their claws in all to ensure your cat keeps their claws in good order, you should provide a few scratching pots you should provide few scratching posts. This will not only help condition their claws, but also help to protect your household furniture. As Bengal cats are very active, you will need to spend a minimum of half an hour playing games with them per day. As an intelligent cat, you will need to use various toys and ensure they are engaged properly. A Bengal cat's diet will have a direct influence on their coat and their mental state. A high quality food, which means all their nutritional needs will keep their fur healthy and their mind in a positive place. You can supplement their food with pâtés or wet food. You can even make the occasional homemade cat food for a treat. To ensure the health of a Bengal cat, we need to strictly follow their vaccination schedule. This needs to happen regardless if they have access to the outside world. Pet owners themselves can transmit bacteria and disease through our shoes and clothing. Deworming will also help protect them from various external and internal parasites. Don't forget to visit your vet every 6 to 12 months for a general checkup. This will ensure the presence of any underlying pathologies and that they can be detected as early as possible. The most common diseases of the Bengal cat are patellar dislocation, where the knee slips out of place, distal neuropathy, which affects their nerves, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which affects their heart, allergies, and progressive retinal atrophy, which can lead to blindness. Life expectancy between 13 and 16 years. These potential health problems don't stop them from having a good life expectancy of between 13 and 16 years. What do you think of this breed? Are there any other interesting facts you would like to share with us? If so, tell us about them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more.